Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric and today I will explain you exactly how this truck will be exactly put together. You asked me about it before but I couldn't explain it because there was a lot of components on the top of it. So let's go. First we are going to tell something about what we have in front of us. This is Tatra 815 6x6 and this is a model Agro which doesn't have the leaf springs over here on the rear axles but it has always airbags for the suspension front is suspended by the torsion bars so uh, basically the suspension is um, made by twisting of this bar unlike any other truck Tatra truck doesn't have the rails and cross members frame it has the central tube there are differentials inside or all, all axis and a big advantage of this that this uh, chassis doesn't twist in terrain and how will look our truck it will not be six by six it will be just four by four but this rear axle also will be steerable. This is original transfer case. Either we'll be able to modify it or uh, we will have to make something similar with uh, the similar size. And we'll put from each side one electromotor. And imagine now, <coughs> we are going to unbolt this flange make the gap over here and insert the transmission over here with one electric motor here and one electric motor here they are about like this diameter and we'll do the same for the rear axle again unbolt this flange over here make a gap and insert the transmission with one motor over here and one motor over here and because our transmission are not going to be connected with any shaft we can do with these tubes whatever we want and we will increase the clearance so this tube will be something like that it will rise over here will go this way and back to the second transmission so we'll be able to reach the ground clearance approximately almost three feet okay and now about suspension these torsion bars are not going to be used instead we are going to use these airbags so imagine we will take this air airbag one it's up to three ton but it can be there are others up to four tons and imagine we'll insert it into this area over here and uh, on the special brackets we are going to have to have to make and uh, these airbags will be self adjustable it means if i am sideways on the hill the top one will deflate and the lower one will inflate more so your vehicle will get more leveled the airbags with all the brackets will be able to bolt on the half uh, half axle and uh, to this cross member without necessity to weld now how i'm going to put the torque through the motors and the transmission to the axle I can do it uh, through Tatra differential and at the end of the differential on shaft I put the gear and it will be the gear first gear in this transmission then I put second gear and third gear and the motor in this case the mo both motors will work together through one set of gears but the problem is because the differential has some uh, length and all together would be probably somewhere around uh, around two feet and i would like to make it shorter because 
it would uh, uh, it would uh, limit me through the block drum clearance at this point. Another option is that each uh, axle has two outputs. One is in form of the shaft and one wheel through shaft and second wheel is over the tube which is over the shaft. I can put the gear on each output and then run two sets of three gears. In that case, each motor will run only one wheel. Which option I will decide for? I don't know yet. I will let you know. The whole axle will be basically the whole unit. It will contain with uh, two airbags with the all brackets, the steering components, and of course the transmission, which will be sitting just over here. And uh, so I will have this complete unit, exactly the same one I will have on the back, and between them I will have my central tube, and I will make it. Uh, long as much as I want. As you can see, for my build, I need two front axles, two steerings, and two transfer cases. So for my build, I will need two top trucks. Of course, if I decided that I want to have a truck without steering at the back, I can do that only with one top truck. The main intention of this build is to make it cheap. By the way, what you can see over here is already for free. Because I saw the engine, transmission and two good uh, tires and I already have my money back. I think that this vehicle will be absolutely unique. I am combining the amazing off-road performance of the Tatra chassis with the modern technology of the electric motors. The Nissan Leaf motor, one of them, has 80 kilowatts and 280 newton meter, And it's overbuilt from Nissan. Some people get from this motor up to 300 kilowatts. This vehicle will be really unique. That's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode because we are going to get into the chassis. If you want more, you can join our Patreon community or you can order the t-shirt and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time and thanks for watching.